George first met Chrissy when she walked through the front door and introduced herself as his new housemate. The moment Chrissy opened the door, his jaw hit the floor and he's never picked it up since. It wasn't quite love at first sight for Chrissy. The fact that he offered her a hamburger and didn't get cross when she said no, but then immediately changed her mind, did leave a good impression. Who would have thought that first night there when we met would end up here where we are today? I can't wait to do life with you. You're my rock, my partner in crime. The most important, funny, beautiful person in the room. It feels like learning how to stand if standing Oh my gosh, you got the bail on! You're a bride! <laughs> the poem is called An Ode to George. Oh George, oh George, Kim told you which ring, but you still didn't actually quite get the right thing. <laughs> but when you dressed up as Father Christmas, I knew straight away that I wanted to be your missus. You love garden gnomes and work hard to build a, build a home. You love our dog Louie and you'll never have to do a shooey to prove our love that fits like a glove. I can't wait for what the future holds and to see how it unfolds. We will be fine, you and me. Strap in and you'll see. And it feels like learning how to stand if standing once. It feels like finally jumping in. It feels like running with the wind. It feels like learning. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another. You know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant all of it, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment. I'd like to tell you that um, I actually knew the first time I ever met Chrissy that she was the one for George. How, you say, how could I do that? Well, I'll tell you how. I have to tell you about my lovely wife. Now, my lovely wife, Carolyn, who's sitting there, has a superpower. And this is, this is actually true. She is able to judge somebody's character within 10 minutes of meeting them, and she's never wrong. She really is genuinely never wrong. And I stand before you. I, I stand before you as living proof that she is never wrong. Chrissy's first job was based out of Morwell, so she went looking for a place to live. A couple of options presented themselves, a share house with two girls who were friends, or a share house with three guys. Being familiar with boys and holding her own with her brothers, she chose to share a house with the boys. And one of those boys, of course, we heard was George. As George found out, she is tough and feisty, and it took a little while for George to have the courage to ask her out. But look what's developed with some snow fun.
Lucy and George, I'm so happy you found each other and begun this journey of building a home and a life together to face life's challenges and joys and ultimately grow old together. George, I knew you were a keeper when Chrissy sent me a video of you in snow goggles dancing to hardcore techno music while cutting vegetables for dinner, as you do. <laughs> Being over at your place, watching George sing songs to the dog on Spotify, Chrissy just sitting there laughing, George grabbing many of Lewis's toys, Raccoonah, Squeaky Squirrel, and being incredibly sad when they were destroyed, Chrissy fixing them, George being happy again. I knew that you were going to be caring for George, and you were the right woman for him.